Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an example illustrating how to verify whether a signal has finite energy or not. We will use both theory and computational tools for this purpose. So the goal is to verify whether a signal has finite energy. So this is our goal. Now given a signal x of t, the first step is we have to find the energy E of x defined as integral from minus infinity to plus infinity absolute value of x of t squared dt. That is we have to find the area under the curve absolute value of x of t squared. So if this integral that is e of x is less than infinity that is it is not an infinite value then x of t is a finite energy signal. Energy signal. So to reiterate, for a finite energy signal, the area under the curve x of t, absolute value of x of t squared, so this area under this curve should be less than infinity. This area under the curve is nothing but E of x. So let us look at an example. Example. 1. So given a signal x of t defined as exponential of minus absolute value of time t, where time t is a real value between minus infinity and plus infinity. Now we can calculate or evaluate the value of e of x by using the integral formula. That is integral from minus infinity to plus infinity x of t absolute value of x of t square dt. And by inserting x of t equal to e power minus t, we have integral from minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus absolute value of t, absolute value squared dt. That is square of the absolute value of e power minus absolute value of t. And that means, and since this value is a real value or a real number, the absolute value is equal to the number itself. So we can rewrite it as integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus absolute value of t whole square dt. And this, is, and this simplifies to integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus 2 into absolute value of t dt. And it is straightforward to derive that this integral is equal to 1 because this is equal to minus infinity to 0 e power 2t dt plus integral 0 to infinity e power minus 2t dt. We can rewrite this integral as a sum of these two integrals because absolute value of t is equal to t for t greater than 0 and minus t for t less than 0. So now we can evaluate this integral separately which is equal to e power 1 by 2 power e which is equal to 1 by 2 into e power 2t and the limits are minus infinity to 0. And for the second term we have 1 by minus 2 to e power minus 2t and the limits are 0 to infinity. Clearly this is equal to 1 by 2 into 1 minus 0 plus 1 minus 0 because there is a minus here. So this is equal to 1. So clearly the energy of the signal is equal to 1. That means the signal x of t equal to e power minus absolute value of t is a finite energy signal. For some, for some signals x of t, this integral may not be tractable, that is may not be theoretically tractable, that is it may not be easy to evaluate that integral. In those cases, we can actually, we can also rely on the integral defined as a of x equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity absolute value of x of t dt. Note, note that 
this integral is not equal to the energy of the signal because it is only the area under the curve absolute value of x of t. For our example, x of t equal to e power minus absolute value of t, that is this one, we have integral minus infinity to plus infinity e power minus absolute value of t dt. And this integral can be broken down as sum of two integrals. It is minus infinity to 0 e power t dt plus integral 0 to infinity e power minus t dt. And clearly this is equal to 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2. Therefore, a of x is equal to 2 which is less than infinity. So from this also we can say that x of t is finite energy signal. Now let us look at the Python code illustrating the same results. Here we define the signal x of t as exponential of minus absolute value of the vector t. That means now let us plot the signals and see how the signal and its absolute value and the square of the absolute value look like. So this figure shows the original signal x of t and this figure shows the this plot shows the absolute value of the signal x of t and finally this figure shows the square of the absolute value. We can clearly see that in all these cases the area under these curves are basically finite because we can because the value gets very close to zero for large values of time t in on both sides of zero and and clearly the area under the original signal x of t is slightly greater than the area under square of the absolute value of x of t so from these figures we can clearly deduce that the signal is a finite energy signal however if the signal is defined as that is e power absolute value of t that is if there is no minus in the signal then clearly the integrals that is area under the curve is not finite that is that is they are not finite energy signal. Now let us look at the clearly the value of the signal increases with the value t and, and this value and this plot shows the square of the absolute value of the signal x of t when it is equal to e power absolute value of t. In this case also the value of the function that is square of the absolute value of x of t becomes extremely large as t becomes large. So clearly this signal is not a finite energy signal that is its energy is going to infinity or the area under the curve goes to infinity. Thus we can look at the plot of a signal and decide whether it is a finite energy signal or not. Thanks for watching.